Hello, I just released the easy mock app add-on for Blender, but I didn't notice there was a problem, but I fixed it. Let me show a little bit how it works. After having it installed, you must install in a custom build that it's also available at the download page. You have this menu and here you put the folder that you're going to work. In my case, I'm going to put this, this folder. You set this folder, you choose the amount of cameras, in this case it's going to be two, set cam, so it makes available this part. This part is for the intrinsic calibration. So you select camera one, choose the file, in my case it's here, video one, save, select video two, and save also. You can copy the video files for the same folder, but in this case it's not needed. And you must choose the frames to, to, to do the calibration. One important thing to do is open the system console. I'm going to leave it here. And now to the frame selection you must uh, open the VSA, so you can move it here, duplicate the view, and click this button. And choose camera 1, load on VSA. It's going to load it here, press home to show all the frames, and you go choosing the, the important frames to, to, to render for the calibration. The important parts are the corners of the image. So I'm gonna choose this one, pressing M. I'm gonna create a marker. And I'm gonna create markers on place that I find important. Here, 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 here. This is a video that I recorded earlier. Okay, here. I think it's it's fine. So I choose a lot of markers. Now I press render selected frames. It's rendering. Let me open my folder to show. Here. It was empty, now it has the intrinsic folder created with the frames that I've chosen here. So I can go to the camera 2, clear VSA to remove the video, clear the markers to remove the markers, load the video. Here is the video for the camera 2, for the intrinsic video. I'm gonna mark them too, the important parts. Mark here, 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 and here. Here, in this one, and this one. I think it's good. So now I press render. So it's going to render and create the other folder. Now I can, this part, what you're going to do. Depending on the chessboard you're going to use, you gotta choose the correct pattern. Pattern. In this case, my chessboard has three by five. It's three, three intersections. One, two, three, and five intersections on the horizontal. One, two, three, four, five. So you enter this here, and this is the size of a single square. It's in meters, so you must put it in the correct way. After you export in the frames, choosing the correct pattern and the size, you press detect chessboard. It's gonna do some processing over here. It takes a while depending on the amount of the image you use to the intrinsic calibration, the, the frames that was chosen to render here.
So it finished the detect chessboard. Now you're gonna press calibrate intrinsic. And uh, he calibrated. This button is for you to save the intrinsic on this profile. You must create a profile if you don't have one. So you click here to save in the profile so you don't have to calibrate in the intrinsic every time. Okay, now the extrinsic calibration. We are going to need the videos from that you recorded to capture the movement to calibrate the extrinsic. So I'm going to choose camera one, choose where the video is. In this case, it's this video, camera one, save, camera two, save. In this case, I have to copy the video to the folder. It's going to be copied here. So they are in the correct way that's going to be used. And here, what do I do? I'll clear the VSA, clear the markers, choose camera one, load on the VSA. This extrinsic, it goes to the frame zero. This is important. You must create a marker on frame zero. It's already on frame zero, so you just have to press M over here and render this frame. So created an extrinsic folder with this frame. I'll clear this, go to camera 2, load. I already have a marker here, so I just render. This part is done. Now we are going to detect the extrinsic chess part. It's doing it here. Now do the extrinsic calibration. It's done. Now we we'll, we will check to see how the calibration is. In this case, you can see that the green cross and the red cross are almost on top of each other, which usually is a very good calibration. The other frame, it's normal to show this error. Don't worry about that. Uh, now I can see the cube calibration. You can see that it's perpendicular to the cube, to the chessboard, and here too. Okay, they are fine. This part is for manual correction of calibration. I'm going to show it on another video. This part is where you put the open pose path that where you downloaded it. In my case, I have this here, open pose demo, select the path. These options are not working yet, and I'm going to press run to process the video. It's going to get the video and create the image sequence, and after that, send to the open pose for processing and creating annotations. We are almost on the end. This takes a little bit more than you more than the other part. So I'm gonna pause it a bit. It's finishing and it's done. Now you have the option to triangulate. This option here is to import the model, SPL model that you need to do the triangulation. This model you can download here on this simplify page and you have to download this sim this first file simplify code v2 zip after downloading it downloading it you have it here so you go open this fo this zip file go to this folder code model and you extract this file which i already have here so to import, we are going to select this file. You just have to do it one time. It is going to import into your add-on folder. So you don't have to select it anymore. Uh, it's here. Now it's imported. 
and we can press the triangulate here it's doing its job it shouldn't take long because it's only 200 frames and this triangulate is going to be created on this output folder so here you have two folders the key point 3d that you can use to open on mocap import and you're going to have smpl folder too the smpl folder is the most interesting folder because you have more quality on the motion capture created I thought it, is, it was going to be faster. Uh, I'm going to pause a bit to wait for it. And I pause it and it just finished. So you have the key point in SMPL folder. Now, what can you do? You must download the mocap import, go to older tools. You can import as uh, here, this easy mocap import option. This is using key point 3D. You can use it here. Import test output. Just select the folder, and uh, I usually have a problem when I load this file after doing the process. So I'm gonna open a new one. Don't save. Mockup import older import key point. And I'm having the same problem. Interesting. No problem. Let me show the, the other option. Probably is because I, I this example I did, it has some problems, but I d did just to show how to to use the easy mockup blender add-on. Okay, to import the better quality mockup data use this part here but to use it you must have a fbx from smpl i showed how to do this on another video but i can do it again later just let me get to show an example to you here and I'll go to the SMPL folder. Here, just press import data, and it starts to do the job. And here you have the animation. As I said, this animation is not good. I have to fix some extrinsic calibration that I'm going to show on another video. That's because of this, this, this animation is, is very awkward. But I had too little time today to do it better. Sorry. Well, that's it. Bye. Till next time.